I think there were a couple of air pockets you missed back there. Let's look for them on the way back. How did you ever survive in New York City? Hey, my idea of roughing it is mass transit. It doesn't require drama me. Hi, guys. Hi, guys? They're, they're burying their fangs. They're fantasizing about your femur bone. You say, hi, guys? Sophie, it's Maggie. Joel. Sophie. Sophie? Uh-oh. What? Don't come in here, Maggie. You don't want to see this. Give me a break. Fleischman. Oh, boy. He's dead. I can see that. <sighs> Put on a suit? Look at this. Tied his bow tie. He even polished his shoes. You left a note. Dear Maggie and Joel, sorry to stick you with this, but I didn't want to lie here until someone noticed the smell. Maggie. What? He's wearing Old Spice. That the man shaved to kill himself. I think I found the murder weapon. Watch where you point that thing. All right, his will's in that box, along with some papers, and there's a nice bottle of wine for our trouble. Huh, red or white? You have a really twisted sense of humor, Flashman. Hey, the man puts on the wrist to blow his brains out. You say I have a twisted sense of humor? Tell me this is something he just slept with. He wants to use it for his ashes. Wow, I, ne I never <laughs> even tidied the place up. Well, let's get him and his stuff into the plane. You don't have a problem with this? Look, Fleischman, Soapy lived the way he wanted to live. He died the way he wanted to die. Oh, and you're not rattled. What's the matter, Fleischman? You're a doctor. Haven't you seen dead bodies before? Yeah, and I'm still rattled. I don't like people committing suicide. All the ethical considerations aside, it's just plain bad for business. He was doing fine, you know, till you told him to think about his future. I was talking about a walker. <sighs> my only regret is that Helen, my beloved wife of 42 years, did not come to Alaska with me. We talked about it, but there was always a good excuse not to make the move. Then she died. So I decided to do it for the both of us. And I've loved every damn minute of it. It gave me permission to become the person I've always longed to be, a hermit, living in a shack in the middle of nowhere. I leave the enclosed cash to Hollings Bar in hopes that you'll all go and have a drink or two on me when you leave here. I'd also like Holling to oversee my cremation, per these instructions. Well, what? Well, I'll, I'll just skip these uh, cremating instructions if it's okay with everybody. Please do. And as for my other possessions, to Chris, I leave my extensive collection of obscure country and bluegrass records. Wow. Uh, to be played in my memory on the Chris in the Morning Show. And I want everybody to listen. This is good stuff. <laughs> Finally. Finally. The remainder of my estate, which consists of 100 acres and my team of champion huskies, I leave to my co-executors. What? What do you think we are, lip readers? Well, it says here, Dr. Joel Fleischman and Maggie O'Connell. <laughs> Wait, you must have read that wrong. Well, no, no, it's your name here, Big as Life. What are you talking about? I, I barely knew the guy. Why would he leave me anything, much less everything? Maybe he liked you. That's crazy. He barely knew me. What do you know about this? I know it's hard to believe Flashman, but so can I never discussed you. Yeah? Okay. What'd you talk about? None of your business. What, what are you trying to hide? A man, a dead man, put you in his will, and naturally you would think there's some ulterior motive. I know. He thinks you're Dr. Frankenstein, you can bring him back. You put something in his head, O'Connell. Now, what was it? You're unbelievable, Flashman. What, was he some kind of nut? Soapy, unlike you, was a kind, generous, wonderful human being. Whatever the hell he was, this gathering is adjourned. I, I don't get this. Why would he leave anything to me? I never even paid his bill. So basically, I've inherited 100 acres of dirt and a pack of wolves. We've inherited. A team of dogs like that will bring Ken maybe $1,200. Wonderful. But with enough work on my part, I'll have inherited a set of new snow tires. 
I was thinking we could set up an animal preserve and name it after Sophie. An animal preserve? So all the Alaskans can have someplace to get back to nature. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's, uh, it's original, and it's, I mean, it's just what's needed amidst all this urban sprawl. All right, you can have my half, but you got to name a petting zoo after me. You know why he did this to me? I'll bet you he was annoyed I told him he was old. I mean, the man was 82 years old. What was I supposed to say? Right, Fleischman. He killed himself just to ruin your weekend. All right, you tell me why he did it. To annoy you. I think you hit it right on the head. Berlin Huskies, why do I put up with you? Man, you just gotta love country music. I mean, just so raw with honesty and passion. He's acting single, I'm drinking double. I'm the only hell my mama ever raised. Chris, you play this crap at 6 o'clock in the morning, you're gonna be looking down so many barrels, you'll think you've landed an NRA convention. And I'll be leading the pack. Marilyn, the reason it's called bookkeeping is that I need to keep those records. If it were book losing or book forgetting, they'd have called it that. Chief Ron Kankum is here to see you. Chief who? And his friend Fred and their accountants. Dr. Flashman, I'm William K. Spare. This is Chief Ron Kankuma and his friend Fred. Hi. I represent the financial interests of their tribe. Well, you're the first patient to show up with his accountant to an office visit. The chief's not ill. He's interested in buying Sanderson's land from you. You are? Just one sec. The tribe has parlayed its income from the pipeline, ore and mineral rights into a substantial portfolio, even by Wall Street standards. We had the sense not to uh, go into Ginny Mays or junk bonds which has put us in a rather unfortunate tax bracket. We think maybe your land might be the shelter we need. How? We'll buy drilling for oil, exploring for new minerals, uranium, gas. Well, I, I gotta be honest with you guys. There's no minerals on that land. No natural gas, no oil. We know that. But tax shelter? The government encourages us to write off unprofitable business ventures. And everyone has agreed that the land is worthless, so it should be easy to negotiate a price. I, I got a partner, and she's got her mind set on turning it into some granola bar nature path. Perhaps you could change your mind. I don't know. Once she gets her mind set, it's pretty much set in concrete. Dr. Fleischman, may I ask you, who would know better how to govern this land? You and this partner? Well, the people who have lived and died here for thousands of years. Well, that's true, but... It's, um, it's a question of justice, don't you think? Well, justice in 50,000. 50,000? 50, 50,000 what? Dollars. A chunk of change like that would be handy to take back to the Big Apple in a couple of years. I've been thinking a lot about your idea for the nature preserve. I know, you think it's stupid. No, no, it is not stupid. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a little absurd and, and ridiculous, but it has its own logic. What do you want, Flashman? Nothing, I just... I just want you to think of alternative uses for Sophie's land. Such as? Um, see, I, I don't know, but... What I was thinking was, whatever we do with the land... We, Flashman. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you're, you're just an obstacle, a partner in paper only. Oh, that's how you feel about me. I am nothing more than an obstacle to you. More or less. More or less. Oh, no. Come on. Say it. Okay. All right, Flashman. If I'm driving in my truck and I see a sign that says rock slide or road work ahead, I see you. Okay. Fine. Fine, O'Connell. But you want to know what I think? Not really. I think we should return the land to its original caretakers. Yeah, we should give it to the Indians. Have you had a serious blow to the head that I don't know? I am serious. I have been thinking about this all day, and I think it is the right thing to do. I mean, don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, it's just that I'm... Just what? What? Nothing. And you agree? Yeah. All right. I'm not going to burden you with any of the responsibilities. I'm going to take care of everything. All right? Flashman, 
I, I'm just really uh, surprised you thought of that. But sometimes even obstacles think. <laughs> <laughs>